king of comedy, please give it up for the one and only Mr. Paul Mooney. Give it up, Paul Mooney. I'm glad to be here, and I came to Harlem because this is where the niggas are, and this is where I feel the most safe. And I give it up for the other niggas. I give it up for the Puerto Ricans, too. I give it up for them, too, because they niggas, too. They are. But they, they got the same problems that we have, because they got light-skinned Puerto Ricans who think they're white. White Ricans. That's, that's what that Freddie Prince was. I knew Freddie, he was a white Rican. That's why Hollywood loved him. He was more white than he was Rican, so they liked him. They got the same problems we got in them goddamn nigger ass Cubans. You seen him on the boat, I look like my cousin Harry. I, you know, I said, cousin Harry is on a boat? That Lucille Ball, that Ricky, that was a nigger too. They don't fool me. That Babalu shit, Babalu is an African god. All that shit is African. They don't fool me. I know my fucking past. The white, the white man goes, really? Yes. It's an African god, god damn it. <laughs> I, was, I was freaking out in the hotel because a friend of mine, Tasha, gave me these big, she just travels, she's the assistant to the prince over in Africa. She gave me these big wooden ass original with the big Macumba love lips and wide ass old Michael Jackson nose and wood carved and shit and I had them hanging up in my hotel room and I fell on my knees I said help me help me remember the old ways <laughs> so I can cast a spell on these motherfuckers <laughs> and they took the drums from us because that's how we sent our messages that's why it was a law death penalty catch a nigga on a drum it's a death penalty <laughs> that's why we don't keep drums in the house now ain't that a bitch I got a drum in every motherfucking room Never know when that phone will go out. <laughs> yeah, they disconnected that motherfucker, but you can't stop this. You seen all those old white movies, them drums got power. You seen them old white movies and white folks been in the jungle. Man, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know that shit is the truth. One thing I do notice here, the niggas and the Puerto Ricans chase the crack. Them motherfuckers out there tweaking, they 24 hours like zombies. They want that crack. It's weird, and it can't be that it's, it's our social, it's a social, it's a mental thing. It can't be like uh, physical and good and all that, because Africans and the rest of them, they don't chase that shit. It's the social, it's gotta be your rearing. It's something with, the, with our society that's fucked up. They fucking our brothers and sisters up. It's just white society, they have fucked us up. This shit ain't by no goddamn accident. This shit wears niggas out too hard. This shit was created for us. This shit was created to make niggas tweak. It must be something in the, the nigger blood or something. This shit, these niggas, I mean, I got a cousin does this shit so much that niggas 20 years old and talking to flies. <laughs> Don't kill him, kill him, that's Pete, that's Pete, that's Pete. <laughs> Motherfucker, this is a fly, what you talking about? <laughs> It's, it's me and Pete. It's me and Pete. I took that. I took that fly swat. I, that nigga cried for two days. You didn't kill me. You didn't kill me. You kill my best friend. This is cold when all you got for a friend is a motherfucking fly. You in deep shit when it's only a fly as your friend, ain't you? <laughs> It's the end of the goddamn world. This shit is deep, ain't it? And I want to say this out loud, because this is what I feel. You know who I can't stand? Fuck Howard Stern. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck that white boy. Okay? Okay? 
Okay. Okay. This is being recorded. I get less to the fuck. I don't like that white boy. Because he didn't say some outrageous shit, but his skin is white. If I was on a radio show and said the shit that white boy said, they'd come down there and blow that motherfucker up, okay? They let that white boy say, America likes that shit. Fuck him. That little maid, that little maid robbing the maid. I did the bitch's show, I like it and all that, but I'm, no, I'm serious. You gotta, fuck the bullshit, you gotta be up front with it, okay? Cause it's real, I don't like that white boy cause he talks some stupid shit and he says stupid shit when it comes to black people. I don't like it. And I ain't gonna be quiet, I'm not gonna play no little game. He don't want me on the show, he's scared to death of me. Fuck that. I'm not into that white trash bullshit and I'm gonna tell you why, I'm not into it. Cause I'm from the South, I know it. He couldn't come in my backyard cause he's trash and I'm gonna tell you why. He says outrageous shit cause there's an African doctor that, was, that does a lot of stuff with herbs and shit about AIDS and you know he's, he's done a lot of progress to make you live longer and it was a rumor that he discovered a cure and Howard Stern said quote, no, niggas ain't discovered no cure. They can't even discover something to keep their hair straight. Straight. He says wild shit like that. And I told Robin, I said, you go back and you tell that motherfucker. I said, oh no, niggas have a cure for that too. We will fuck all the white women and make sure all our kids' hair is straight. Yeah, no. No, Howard, no, Howard Stern, and I'm the nigga here in New York to do it, says some wild shit, okay? With the OJ stuff, he said that 75%, you heard him say, because y'all listen to the radio, he said 75% of the black people in America believed he was innocent. 2% didn't know, and the other 23% or 24 the, they were all out committing crime. That white boy said that. That shit ain't funny to me. I said he left out that 1% that will kick his ass for saying that. Yeah, that's what, I'm from L.A. You, he, he can't come to L.A. I'm come from the land of Crips. He don't come to L.A. with that shit. He get his ass kicked in broad daylight. They will jack him in broad, they'll do a drive-by. They'll jack him in, I'm from L.A. We don't go for that. And then he said with this cop thing, you know, this cop thing here, you know, undercover, you know, off-duty, niggas don't know. Now they know they live under the illusion of inclusion. They're not included because when they're in uniform, they're part of the gang. But when they're out of uniform, they're the enemy because their skin is black because that's the code. Don't shoot till you see the color of their skin. They shot that boy in the back and then they said he should have had on his uh, bulletproof vest. Why? He got shot in the back. It still wouldn't have helped him. He got shot in his back. And a year before that, another guy. But these white off-duty cops don't get shot by other white off-duty cops. So Howard Stern says all the cops should be white, then there would be no problem. Then, you know, he does. He's deep. Then he said the, he's Hispanic. He's a white uh, Spanish Hispanic. How are you going to be white and Hispanic? You either are or ain't. What the fuck is that? He's talking gibberish. But trying to clean it up. But see, I don't go for that okie doke. I'm not into that. I'm into the real deal because we know what's up. It's color. That's what's up. It's not complicated. It's not some paradox. It's not some, let's try.